Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, sorry I haven't been coming out with many videos recently. Um, I've been really, really busy. I've been trying to uh, move like I've said in the past. But, you know, I, I mean, I haven't really been too busy, you know, the past week or so because we've cleaned up the house and everything. But, anyway, that's not important. Today, I'm doing a review on the Shengxiao, uh Pyraminx that I got just recently. It was my last unboxing that I just did. And, uh, so, yeah, let's, let's check this thing out. First off, I just want to go by how it looks. It looks pretty standard to most uh, pyraminks that are out there and this is Shengxiao and you'll notice that it has very bright colors unlike its past versions well not of this but of their cubes all of their you know standard cubes like their 8 bytes and stuff all of their you know just standard cubes like that have really dark just like I hate their shades now that the blue is a little bit lighter and I really like the blue I really love all the colors on this uh, it's got very, ni very, very nice colors, um, and the tips, these are pretty nice. Uh, you hear some spring noise. That's because I haven't lubed it yet. After how long have I had it? <laughs> Sorry, but um, uh, yeah, the the tips are pretty nice. They click into place. Uh, there's a I don't know where it is. There's a ball bearing in there. I can try and show it to you. Maybe you can't see it on this one. Let me try it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, like, right down in there. I don't know if you can... There's probably a little bit of a glare somewhere. I can I can see it right there. But there's only one in there. I think it would be better if they had two or three because they still move around a little bit when you're solving. So, you know, you're moving and say you're turning like that and you'll end up turning the tip on accident. But that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a little bit uh, of getting used to, I suppose. Um... But, yeah, it turns very nicely. It clicks into place just like all pyraminks do. Uh, it cork, you know, see, when I was turning, the back turned like that. Whatever. Um, but, you see, the turning on this is very nice. I'm pretty sure it's, like, from what I've heard, it's very similar to the Moyu feel. But, I don't know, I haven't tried a Moyu yet. Um, the corner cutting is great for a pyraminx. The Moyu's has better corner cutting but it's more expensive than this so you know I'll probably end up getting it sometime but yeah the corner cutting is like the best I've ever had on any pyraminx so it's very good um it's very fast definitely uh it comes tension just right for me at least it came all the way tightened and that and it feels like it's extremely loose but it's perfect for my feel um, and to tension it if you didn't know you just pull off the tips like that and there's a little screw down in there that you can kind of you know just tension and you can see these little things here are so that there's like there's little bumps so that it can catch on the ball bearing right there when it you know when it turns so it doesn't move all over the place it's pretty easy to get back in there um, yeah, it's pretty noisy, kind of clickety clackety, you know. It's just kind of, it's, it's a little noisy, but I like that uh, noise. I, I don't know why. I just, I just like that feel, that noise. It's not that loud. It's just, you know, if you if you don't like noisy puzzles, then I guess you don't like pyramids. But it's very nice. It's it's got a very crispy feel to it too. It's like very, I don't know. But it's it's, it's just very very nice. And it has a great anti-pop mechanism too. Like I can't pull a piece out. <laughs> I've tried to. I've I've been, I've yet to see the mechanism. I mean, yeah, I could just unscrew all that, but then I would mess up my tensions, and I don't really feel like doing that. And I really don't need to see the mechanism anyway. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, this background that I'm using is obviously new. It says the Cubing Prodigy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Obviously, you can read that. Um, but. The really cool thing about it, like obviously I, cu I custom made this on a website. I'll probably have the link in the description or maybe I'll put an annotation like up here, you know, somewhere over here. 
Um, but if you look at this from an angle, it looks 3D. It looks like it's coming off of the thing. I, I edited this myself uh, on, what is it? All I did was use, what is it? I used um, PowerPoint. Um, and yeah, I got really nice results out of it. Surprisingly, I edited it all myself. So, and you know, it, it's it's perfectly centered. I didn't think it'd be perfectly centered. I just sort of, you know, I eyeballed it and I'm trying to try to center it. Now, it does help you with that, but you know, I just. But, um, yeah, I was thinking about also making whole bunch of these things and maybe selling them to you guys when I get enough subscribers so if you like that idea please comment below and tell me um, they'll be maybe 30 40 dollars 35 maybe depending on where you are because shipping is gonna cost money I don't know I haven't decided yet because they're very expensive to uh, make and they uh, yeah the shipping and all of that so I don't even know if I will be able to sell them but just you know, comment below. Tell me if you if you like this. Maybe not with this. I uh, I last minute like bef like right when I ordered it, I couldn't like it was already shipped out, so I couldn't cancel it. So I I came I came up with a different thing at the bottom. It was like cube all day every day or something, and I wanted to change that. But I'm making a new mat. It's gonna look twice as awesome. It's gonna be so cool. Um, it's got like a red background. It's got just a bunch of little designs all over it, and it's gonna look really cool. At least I hope. Um, so when I get that one, which will be probably a long time from now, because I don't feel like spending any money at the moment, then you guys tell me if you want me to sell them, and you know, that'd be that'd be cool. Maybe I will. I don't know. I put a lot of thought into that, but couldn't decide whether I should do it or not. But yeah, that sums up the review of this. Um, so, the oh, and this is also very big. It's huge. This thing is like 26 inches by 14 inches. It's very nice. Very nice. Um, anyway, um, like I said before in my last video, I apologize for the lack in quality of my videos lately. It's just been really hard. Like, my video editor stopped working correctly and everything like that. So, like, the audio had cut out and it just got, you know, it was, it was a lot to deal with. So, uh, I, I greatly apologize for that. I've been losing subscribers because of that. I only lost, like, one so far. I lost two one day, but then they both came back. So, um, guys, just hang in there. Stick with me. I'm trying to, I'm doing my best that I can with these videos, but, yeah, it's, it's getting hard. So, to make this not so boring, I'm going to scramble this up and do a solve on it. Hold on, let me get a timer out. I never time anything anymore. I'm just going to get my phone out. gonna be kind of hard with the camera sitting right in front of me but I haven't solved this for a long time either so we'll see how it goes That was about 15 seconds, actually. Not too bad, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it was either 14 or 15, because I, you know, you, you most likely saw that I missed. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm good at everything, obviously. I'm good at doing that. Not really. Okay, so um, that pretty much sums up this video. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Uh, and 
you know, I'll, I'll be coming out with some better videos pretty soon. Don't worry, guys. Just hang in there. All right, so, yep, see you guys later. Bye.